What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, the Vaping Beardsman. And today guys, I'm going to be doing like a bundle review. What's that? Yeah, yeah, it is, it is the Hannah Mods DNA 30 device with the Patriot on top. I've done a 0.9 ohm A1 ribbon can fall build on this butte. I'm using 100% VG, 100% organic VG vanilla e juice. And my lord, this thing toots. So I'm sat at 10.3 watts at the moment. This crazy piece of shit can go from 7 watts all the way up in increments of 1 to 30 watts. So the the versatility and the, and the range of this device is is phenomenal. I mean, you could do it all the way down to seven watts, seven point one, all the way up to thirty watts. Now I did earlier on earlier on this morning. I done a point three ohm build on this, and I was at thirty watts, and it was it was tooting like a mofo. But the good thing about it is, like for the point, but not uh, right, right, for now. Excuse me, stuttering. Meh, word vomit. So now I'm at obviously the 0.9 ohm coil um, and I'm at 10.3 watts. And I don't know, I'll put this on, this, on that camera. I don't know if you can see it, but it's flashing at me. And the reason it's flashing is to say, look, dude, I'm at 10.3 watts. I need more wattage, I need more power to give you a, a more significant, better, awesome bit. So what I then do is I press this top button. Now they're really good clicky buttons. I press this top one here, and I just press it and hold it in. Then I just increase so 11, 12, 13. I press it again, and it's still flashing at me. So I'm at 30. I'm at 13.6 watts here. Now look at that for a vapor man. That is a good vape. So I'm going to have to get some juice on this. So, the Hannah Mods, now here's, here's the tricky thing with Hannah Mods, is there's a lot of fucking clones out there. Now this is not a clone. I've got my serial number, I've got my authentication password which I popped into online and I got it saying Real device, man, real device. So it's a real freaking device. Now, I was on Plant the Vapes a couple of days ago there, and I typed in, boom! My, my Hannah DNA 30 is here, and it's fucking tooting like a bitch. And I've got jet, I've got, I've got jet, man. They were like, is it, it's a freaking clone. You're, you're using a clone, don't come in here for... Who gives a shit if it's a clone or if it's real? Okay, I paid the extra, I paid the extra money and got the real one, yeah. But if it was a clone, who's, who's that? Who, who are you to judge if it's a clone or not? So. So I picked this thing up here for around like 85 to 90 pounds in the UK. Um, like I said, got my screen number, got my application code, all that jazz. Now, to be honest, the thing toots like a wizard. It's awesome. So what you've got here is you've got a button at the top. That's your fire button. Nice clicky fire button there. You've got, a button at the, you've got two buttons at the bottom. One is to increase your, your wattage and one is to decrease your wattage. So up is up, down is down basic math there. Now it has got some other cool features where you can press it a certain amount of times and it locks a certain amount of times and it's like, um, I think it's five clicks. Yep, five click lock. So we click it five times. Five click lock. And so it's done. So that's it. So you've got a lock feature. It's also got a stealth mode now. I'll drop I'll drop a link below to where you can go and read all about these cool features that the, the DNA 30's got. 
But if I'm, I'm going to be truthful honest with you, I don't really give a shit if it's got a stealth mode. I mean, I've vaped on, I've vaped on some cool shit in my time. The Vamo, the VTR, the 134, the Cullfire 2, the MVP, a lot of Vinicom products. Um, the the B-Jam, the fucking uh, Nemesis, the Black Hawk. I've vaped on a lot of cool shit. Um, and to be honest with you, know, I don't have a stealth mode. So I'm not really saying necessary for a stealth mode. Okay, you're in the cinema, you don't have a big blue screen there, so you, you... Yeah, understandably, but I don't vape in the cinema, so it's cool. And if I was going to vape in the cinema, I'd take a little Evo battery. A little Evo and a C4, just... Um, so that, let's, get, let's get down to technical. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to jump from this screen down to the bottom screen here. We're going to get a little bit of close-up action. I'm going to show you show you what it does and um, give you a little close up and then we'll have a couple more toots talk some more shit and then it'll be a bye bye so let's jump down to the bottom of the screen so here we are at the bottom of the screen here so what we've got is your HANA mods so this is your front of the device the side like I said this button here so this one here is a nice clicky fire button up and down your wattage range and on the back here nice little logo and then we've got a screw here and a screw here so I'm going to take these screws out screwdriver shit one screw Now the other cool thing about this is, is the fact that this one takes an 18650 battery but I don't need to take the battery out to charge it which is a fucking cool feature man. That time when, you've got, when you're using the mechanical mods and then you've got to take the battery out to charge it. So screws are out, one screw, two screw and the screwdriver is there. I've took my RD off the top. So you lift the top bit off, set it on. It's a, that's a sturdy bit of metal. So that's, that's your back panel there, quite nice, and this is what it looks like in the back. So I've got a, I've got a low drain battery here, um, it just pops out, like so. Now, I see they've did this part here, where they've put this sort of plastic on, but you, if you peel, peel back the plastic you can actually see inside. So that's what the inside looks like. So they put this bit of plastic on here just to sort of hide it away, I suppose. There was two stickers on it, which I was nosy and ripped them off. So so then, so that's the back. That's your battery. So obviously, plus and before minus. So you pop that back on. You get your screw. It goes in. You drop the screw. You pick the screw up, <laughs> and the second screw goes in like so. A minute to sort this fucking thing out. That's better. The key ring was annoying me, so I took it off. There we go. One screw in, two screws in. And once the battery's in, it comes on automatically, so your screen's here. Now it's quite hard for me to show you on this screen, so I'll try and bring it a bit forward a bit. There we go. So screen here, you've got your oh wrong way, you've got your USB um port down here, nice little logo here. And then a little serial code here. So, like you can see there, you can see the battery range, it gives you the ohms, gives you the voltage, and it also gives you your wattage. So, I press that. Oh, I'm out of check. That's asking me to put an atomizer on. So, if I press this button here, it's going to go down. If I press this button here, it's going to go up. So, it starts off nice and slow, and then it picks itself up and it flies. 
Look at that baby go all the way up to ferry. Boom. And then what we do then is we get our atomizer. We screw it on. And you can see there it's giving you the ohms of that and it's giving you its preferred voltage. So every time you click it, it gives you your voltage. Now, this is the Patriot clone that I've got in here with a nice little gold vape life um, dripper there, drip tip there. So, pop this off here and I'll let you look at my build. So yeah, it's it's A1 ribbon can fold build that I've gone for. Um, the ribbon can fold, the ribbon can fold I find works a feckin' treat. Um, it's easy to wrap and it just it's really low on so you give that bad boy three three or four wraps you're going subs you give it two wraps you're going below the five yeah, really nice so pop this on here we're going to jump back to the big camera the full screen jobber i'm going to take a two at 30 watts Look at that plume. Look at that plume. It's just, oh, it's amazing. 30 watts. It's just so nice. It needs some juice! So guys, that was... That was my take on the HANA DNA 30. So, for the money, is it worth the buy? Yes. Do I think that everybody should have one? Yes, when they get to that point of vaping. Um, I don't think everybody should run out and purchase one. They are expensive, and unless you're going to be vaping for a fucking long time, then yes, go for it. If not, wait for it. Wait until you find that you need 30 fucking watts. And there's going to be next to no clearomizer or cartermizer on the market that's going to be able to keep up with the wattage on this. So you're going to bang on, say, the low, like, if you're going to stick on a uh, Kangar Tech fucking aero tank for talking sake. That there kicks at about 2, 2, 2 ohms to 2.3 ohm coil builds on those. So you're not going to be able to make it to 30 watts, you're going to blow it. You maybe push past maybe 20 watts at a maximum on the Nautilus Aspire Mini. And even then that's, that's a lot. So if you're rebuilding, if you're dripping, then yes, I think it's a it's a good way to go. Um, it's a nice it's a nice device. It holds battery well. It reads your ohms for you very 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 accurately. It gives you your voltage. It's got a fucking wattage range of thirty watts. Um, it also reads down to 0.3 ohms, so you can go right into the subs with that. Right in the subs, and you can even go right up into the the ohms as far as 3.2, 3.4 goes. So you can go as high up as you possibly want, you can go as low as you possibly want. So much so much range with this device, same as their wattage, so much range. 7 watts to 30 watts in increments of 1, so much range. Um, if, I was, if I was asked to rate this out of 10, I would give it, for my, for my own personal experiences with devices, I would give this a 10. I would give this a 10 out of 10 for performance, for versatility, for range, just for the, just, just everything in it. The DNA chip kicks ass. So that there was the, the Hannah Mods DNA 30 mod there. My name's Callum, also known as The Vaping Beardsman. Thank you again, 
And as always, vape on. Now today guys, this video is just going to be um, talking about a few Enneken products. Um, I've long said it in there because uh, she uses the MVP 2.0.